Hello and welcome to Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows. And today we're looking at Sword Crafters from Adam's Apple Games. Swordcrafter is a three-dimensional tile placement game and it's coming to Kickstarter soon. It's a two to five player game that has players forging their best sword at request of the king. We're looking at a prototype version of the game, but let's go ahead and jump in and see how it's played. Sword Crafters comes with 90 sword tiles, 15 magic cards, and two first player tiles. Before the game begins, players will each construct their own hilt. Three magic cards will be revealed for the in-game scoring, and the starting player is given the start tile. For a two to three player game, a four by three grid of tiles is laid out on the table, and for a four to five player game, a four by four grid is used. The first player will divide the tokens into two sections using a straight line. The next player will divide one of those sections, and the following player will do the same. Then, starting with the first player, everyone will choose one set of tiles and add them to their sword. Players will continue cutting and choosing tiles and forging their sword until all the tiles are exhausted. At the end of the game, points are awarded for the longest sword and the longest chain of matching stones on each sword or sword quality, and then the magic sword cards are resolved, awarding points to the player who has the most of a certain set of colored stones on his sword. The player with the most points will prove his sword forging skills and win the favor of the High King. We really enjoyed playing Sword Crafters, and I'm kind of surprised that this three-dimensional building uh, tiles hasn't come up much in the industry. It's a, it is a very novel and clever concept. They've done a really good job with it. They've tied it to a theme that's really fun to be able to hold in your hand this cool sword at the end of the game. It's also got a good mix of just general mechanics because you've got that I cut you choose thing that we've kind of seen in Sunday Split or uh, New York Slice, some of those other games that are popular right now. Um, and it kind of takes that to the next level because it's not just about like getting the biggest handful of cards or not getting a bad one or whatever. In this case, you really have to kind of plan out. Like if I take those tiles, they're going to go on these two sides of my sword. I only want one so that, you know, there's just a lot of cool puzzle solving stuff that goes into it as you're thinking through what am I choosing because I got to build it in a certain order. Yeah, the starting player uh, is crucial in this game. You don't want to be the last person to take whatever's left over and then it doesn't fit with what you've got. Um, also, the sword magic cards, depending on what comes out at the beginning of the game, really does change up strategies. If it's only a couple of colors are showing of the different gems, then you really have to pay attention and try and get those colors. Fight there's over a, them. Yeah, there's a lot of points awarded for those at the end of the game, and that can really change up who wins. One of the things that I think is going to be crucial to the success of this game, though, is the component quality. Um, we obviously have just prototype quality components, so we don't know what the final stuff is going to look like. The edges on them are getting really rough, like just pulling it in and pushing it out and building it up and tearing it down and holding it like a sword and playing with it like a sword. Um, <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what kind of quality they get in the final version. They're, it's going to need to be heavy duty because it's going to the usage is just going to rub those things raw. So hopefully they've got a good solution for that. Keep an eye on that. That'll be one of the things I think that determines whether this game becomes a big success or if it falls apart. Hopefully it'll be awesome. Yeah, if this sounds like something that you're interested in, check out Sword Crafters on Kickstarter and check out all the other great videos from Tantrum House. ability to choose what might be yeah, it was going the right way the prototype version of the game but let's go ahead and jump in and jump in <laughs> it wasn't even I know sense. I'm sorry you could have just cut me off I should have I thought it was good practice okay final time okay 